Hello everyone, I am Monica Patel and today I am going to make a delicious and healthy dish without using any fire. Ingredients required are curd, onion, coriander, green chili, cucumber, tomato, dry fruits, chaat masala, salt and bread chili powder. So now I am going to mix all these ingredients in this jar but except the sauce. spreading the mixture on one side of the bread and for giving it some tangy flavor i will apply sauce on other side now place the bread over the another one now our tasty curd vegetable sandwich is ready this recipe is fireless and also it has proteins vitamins and minerals good morning everyone i am yukti ganjwani from class 7 today i am going to make a healthy sandwich for our Lockdown special recipe cooking competition. lockdown special recipe thank you good afternoon everyone my name is asta lamani i am from class 7b so today i'm here to teach you how to make keto burger so let's start in making of this burger you doesn't need fire so for this burger you need some leaves of cabbage slices of tomato capsicum and onion cheese Marinate it paneer and afterwards I will tell you how to marinate this. Tomato sauce, green chilli sauce and grater. And the spices are salt, dry mango powder and black pepper. So the base of our burger will be cabbage leaves. Now we will add some tomato ketchup. Now I will take a slice of onion. Tomato. Now we will add the marinated paneer sauce. So now I will tell you how to marinate paneer. So for marinating paneer, I have taken red chilli powder, dry mango powder, salt and black pepper and oil. And mix the paneer with all these spices and oil and leave it for 10 to 15 minutes. Now I will add a slice of capsicum and some grated cheese. 
Now I am adding some spices. Now I will sprinkle some salts. Red, dry mango powder. And one teaspoon of black pepper. And now you can add vegetables of, of your choice also like corn, mushrooms, etc. So now I am adding the top layer and it will be of cabbage leaves only. And now I am applying some green chilli sauce in it. So now I am closing it. And for toppings, I am grating some cheese. And you can also add toppings of your choice like chili flakes, oregano and mixed herbs. And on the top, I am also adding red chili powder. And the final presentation is here. everyone today I'm Megha Tanjani here I'm going to show you how to make bread cones with these materials I will make bread cones that first we will take a uh, potato because it is uh, we can say it is rich in carbohydrates we will mash it first we will take onion we will put it in it now we will take cucumber these are rich in nutrients minerals and vitamins now we will uh, put some black pepper now we will put in it and then we will take some sprouts it is moved we will put in it now we will take some of the gram we will say take some coriander leaves now some of the chaat masala now some of the sale. Now we will take some mayonnaise and put in it. We can take chili as per your taste. Now we will take some cheese and grill in it. Now we will take some salt and put in it. Now we will mix in it. Now we have uh, done it. It is mixed. It is made up of healthy nutrition. Now we will be rolling it. Now it is in a cone shape. We have put it in a glass and now we are going to fill it. Now we are going to fill it. We will take some alubujia on it. And release. Now it is ready. You can see how it is looking. We have some sauce and we have some we have some chutney with us. Hello everyone, today I Janvi Pateria from class 8 there is going to make a cake without fire. Here I am having some bread slices, chocolate syrup, some chocolates for decoration. I am going to make the mixture of water and sugar. Now I am going to cut the edges of the bread like this. Here comes the main step. I am going to put the sugar syrup and the chocolate syrup over the bread slice. We will repeat the step over all the slices. Now we are going to cut the extra part of the cake. So here comes the time of decoration. Our cake is ready. Thank you. 
Good afternoon, respected father, teachers, and all my friends. I am Kathy Jain. On behalf of class 8th, I am making pan flavor laddu. Ingredients used in this is consent milk, uh, pan, pan leaves. Uh, uh, this is filling of kulkand. This is gari coconut powder. Food coloring. This is katri. Means tutti fruity. So let's begin. We'll mix this pan leaves into this consent milk and we'll grind it. So this is grinded mixture of pan leaves. So and this is tutti fruity which we want. This is coconut powder and this is kulkand and this is food coloring and doing some more dark so some more dark color so we want some blue color some yellow color And this is our red green for green color. So now we will mix this pan mixture into this a big bowl. And just we will mix this coconut powder. this powder then we will mix a we will turn into it a dough a soft dough i will mix more this then we will mix this more little more Good evening everyone. Today I am Anika Kankane studying in class 9B. Today I am going to make sandwiches which is rich in protein, minerals, fibers and many other things. So this is brown bread which is rich in bread fiber. This is cucumber. This is tomato which is rich in uh, vitamin C. This is coriander. This is beetroot. And this is potato which all, uh, you all know this is rich in carbohydrates. And this is sprout and ground. I will put some sprouts and these down. And we are making a stuffing for our sandwich. So our stuffings are ready. First we will put butter on the slices. So our first layer is rich in proteins and fibers. So our second layer is rich in vitamins. Now we will put some black pepper on it and some chaat masala. So our third layer is rich in carbohydrates. Put mayonnaise on it. Just see how colorful it is. Now we will decorate it. So we are ready for the decoration. So our multi-purpose so multi layer, multi color and multi nutritious sandwich is ready with some glass of chalchita which is made up of cucumber and we can have it with some chutney and sauce. Today I am going to make a tasty recipe chocolate balls without flame. Material required are chocolate syrup, oreo powder, coconut powder, oil, 
sprinkles condensed milk and dry fruit procedure take a container put oreo powder then add condensed milk mix the condensed milk and oreo powder Now make small balls. Add one layer of Hershey's. Add one layer of coconut powder. Make another ball. Make a hole and add dry fruit. Hello everyone, my name is Kanishka Bajaj and I am from class 9A. So, I am here for the competition of flameless cooking. So, as the topic of the competition is lockdown recipe. So, I am going to make modak as the Ganesh Chaturthi is going on. So, for making modak we have to take. So, here I am taking 2 types of cream biscuits, 3 tablespoons of sugar and 2 tablespoons of condensed milk and modak utensil and here I have been taking some sprinklers like this for decorating 1 cup of water and some Hershey and now we have to separate cream from biscuits so as you can see I have separated cream from the biscuits now I will grind it now we will put biscuits and 2 small spoons of sugar so as you can see I have grind both the biscuits separately and make sure there should be no lumps between it now I will make dough of it for me first I will pour it in the utensil now we will pour some water now as you can see the dough is ready now we will make more two small spoons of oil have to crush it and make it cream for making cream you can use a small spoon of condensed milk to the cream mix it properly basically it's done and we have also prepared the cream now we will take small dough you can see we will close it as I have filled now we will put some cream see my motors are ready you can see how steady they are looking thank you